What is going on guys, it's Joe and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Breakfast Club. For those of you that are new to the channel, The Breakfast Club is a series on my channel in which I super set between full day of eating vlogs, workout videos, fitness related content, and a mini Q&A which I go in the comment section down below or DM to me on Instagram at Joseph underscore Garcia 17. Go and we just have breakfast and answer some questions. We have been on a nice kick of actually making breakfast as far as like pancakes, French toast, wraps, ice creams, all that good stuff. Today for breakfast, check out this gem that I found. Now, I love a good donut. What I love even more is a solid protein donut. I mean, look at these guys right here. I mean, these are some crazy protein donuts. I'll be honest with you. These are actually not protein donuts whatsoever. These are full fed donuts right here. Now, the reason why I had these is because I actually recorded a TikTok with these donuts right here. So, you know, somebody had to eat them. You don't want the freaking props to go to waste. You know what I mean? I, vol I volunteered. I took them home and then we're going to have these for the Breakfast Club episode, okay? Before I even get into this, I'm getting into TikTok now. I'm trying to make some content on there. I'm trying to boost our YouTube subscriber account by posting content on there, having those views funnel into the YouTube views, having the YouTube funnel into the TikTok, just each platform helping each other out here. My TikTok at name is Joe underscore Garcia 17, almost the same as my Instagram as well. So if you wanna know what I did with these guys, make sure you go on there. I actually won't be posting the TikTok I did till a little bit later, but stay tuned on there and keep up with me on there. So we have four different donuts here. We have an Oreo, we have a Boston cream, we have a Fruity Pebble, and then we have a raspberry filled as well. I'm gonna just crush all four right now. They're playing 50s and 60s rock and you're not here to dance with me. I'm dancing by myself. Dude. You know what's so funny is that I was recording a YouTube video right now. I had this whole conversation on. Oh, <laughs> can I say hi to YouTube? Ready? Yeah, yeah. Watching on. You want to say hi to the YouTube? Ready? Say what's up to the YouTube. Hi YouTube. There it is. Hi. Tell them to subscribe. Tell them to subscribe. Go subscribe and like. Let's go. Great guy. That's a great guy. All right. I feel like for these uh, donuts right here, we have to start off. I mean, we have to start off with the Boston cream, right? This is my favorite donut. This Will Tennyson put me onto this guy right here um well this one's a little um it's a little light we'll see how the cream is on this guy i haven't made any contact with the cream yet hang on give me a second okay there it is oh yeah will says there's a bite and suck technique that you have to do and uh, i have to say it makes a difference as far as your cream experience so you, what you do is basically you know you bite and then inhale in there go bite and suck. Oh. Mm-hmm. I think next I have to go with this fruity pebble one right here. Call on my name. I think between the Oreo and the fruity pebble, the Oreo's gonna be a little bit better. So I'll save that one for last. Then I'll go in with this guy right here. Mmm. Mmm. Fruity pebbles for sure. One of my top like four cereals of all time, for sure. My one day out. And when I had to eat two boxes of cereal, I was very much contemplating having some Fruity Pebbles, but I just feel like this cereal dry would have been a problem. Next, we have this raspberry filled donut right here. Again, I think the same procedure for, you know, biting this Boston cream, the bite and suck technique needs to be applied right here. Mm. And then last but not least is this Oreo one, I mean. This just looks absolutely delightful. Oh yeah, last bite right here. Ooh. Okay, so let's get right into this question now. Hi Joe, I have a question. I went on a cut and my maintenance is 2,600 to 2,800 calories, but I ate 2,000 calories. Now that my cut is done, I'm going back to maintenance, but Somehow, when I weighed in, I'm up like six pounds. Can you explain this? P.S. Keep up the good work. Love the vids. Yeah, so I actually can explain this and what happened. Before I do, I wanted to get a little more clarification. So I asked, thank you, brother. I got you. Can I answer this in a Breakfast Club video? How much weight did you lose on the cut? So he is, yeah, I went from 148 to 150 to 117. 148 to 150 pounds all the way down to 117. Basically, I can explain exactly what happened. For however long you were basically in a deficit for, you know, you're essentially depleting the body when you're in deficit. You're trying to lose fat. You're losing a lot of water weight. You're doing a lot of different things, right? So 
when you go and you reintroduce calories back into the body, when you try and increase them or eat closer to maintenance and you don't want to cut anymore, I mean, when you drop that much weight, that's essentially more even than I dropped for my show. And basically what happens is that after my show, when I went to go weigh in, and everything kind of rebounded and I drank more water and all that stuff happened, you know, I was up like 10 to 11 pounds, but as the week went on, that weight slowly kind of came off as my body got more accumulated, more adjusted to having the calories. I mean, you are gonna see some big spikes, especially after a cut. When you try and reintroduce calories, you reintroduce probably some carbohydrates. Those carbs will store glycogen, and those glycogen actually will store water as well. But to have a weigh-in, especially after you've increased some calories and you're up like, say, six pounds, that's actually pretty normal. And this is personally where I like to advocate, you know, daily weigh-ins and daily check-ins just to get a better idea of where your weight's actually at. If you do daily check-ins and you take that median, that middle number, you compare it week to week and you're still going up by, let's say, six pounds based off of your median weight, well then I would readjust your calories for sure. But if you notice that you're keeping your median weight under control and you're maintaining a certain weight range and a certain level of body fat, then you're doing everything that you should be doing. It is completely normal to see yourself fluctuate by day to day based on some of the foods that you've eaten and based on your overall calorie intake. You know, not every day is the exact same day. As far as you gaining six pounds in one day, that's my recommendation to then start weighing yourself every day. See where your median weight is at and track that week to week. Your weight can fluctuate based off a lot of different factors, you know, carbs, water, all that stuff. It's probably more than likely just some water weight. Make sure you're tracking that median weight. What that's gonna allow you to do is basically eliminate the highs and the lows. Those are what we call outliers in data. You know, and our body even has those outliers as well. That's why that median weight is super, super important to get a consistent reading week to week to make sure you are on the right track and you can make adjustments properly. If you just weighed in on any random day and you try to use that as your data to like see whether or not you're moving in the right direction, or even if you did like your average weight gain, weight loss, even that can be somewhat off because you're now using those outliers for that data. But the median is always my personal recommendation is what I find the most consistent. So when you going to reintroduce more calories in the body, you know, after a pretty big cut, don't freak out if you see a big weight jump, track that median weight, see where it's at and make adjustments based off of that number. Thank you for DMing me that question. I hope that answers it in some way, shape or form. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below or DM them me on Instagram at Joseph underscore Garcia 17. I am wrapping the video up here. Please leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. Leave some suggestions as far as different foods you guys want to see me eat on the Breakfast Club in the comment section down below. And in here, I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been your boy Joe. Peace.